So this is a picture of the beginning of the universe? It's a picture of shortly after the beginning, yeah. That's ridiculous. What do you mean? Dude, listen to yourself. How could we have a picture of something that happened so long ago? What, did someone travel through time to take this? Basically, yeah. Oh my god, dude, I'm worried for you. No need to be, man. Look, just hear me out on this. Light moves at a speed. The speed of light, right? Yeah. So, the farther away something is from you, the longer it must take for its light to reach you, right? Uh, yeah. If you think about it then, you're never really seeing anything as it is right now, but as it was in the past. because light takes time to get places. Now, light is insanely fast. It could circle the Earth seven times in one second. So for all intents and purposes, everything close by is as it is right now. But light's travel time becomes increasingly significant the further and further out you look. Okay. So for instance, it takes light about one second to get from the moon to the Earth. So when we look at the moon, we are seeing it as it was one second ago. Huh. The sun's light takes about eight minutes to reach us. So we see the sun as it was eight minutes ago. Wow. We see the nearest star to the sun as it was four years ago. And the nearest major galaxy to ours as it was two and a half million years ago. I, I can't even process that. We're just warming up, dude. With modern telescopes, we've now observed a plethora of galaxies so distant that we see them as they were billions of years ago. That is a significant fraction of the entire age of the universe ago. And something interesting happens when we observe especially distant objects like that. We notice that the further out we look, the simpler everything becomes. Simpler? Yeah. It's a clear trend that progressively distant galaxies are, on the whole, not as massive and less developed than those that are closer by. Okay. And that's exactly what you'd expect, because by looking out that far, we are looking at earlier moments in cosmic history, when the universe and all of its contents were younger and less evolved. Time machines exist, dude. They're called telescopes. And when we use them, we become time travelers, watching the history of the universe unfold right before for our eyes. That is amazing. It's the coolest thing ever. We can look so far out into space and back in time that we eventually reach a point where stars and galaxies didn't even exist yet. We can look at a time when the universe was so young that it lacked any kind of structure at all. We have a picture of that time. It's that one. That is the universe as it was about 400,000 years after it began, long before the formation of any celestial object. Specifically, it's a photo of what we call the surface of last scattering, and it is the farthest thing that we can ever possibly see. What? Why? 